Picture this, a dimly lit room, the faint glow of a vintage television screen casting eerie shadows across the floor. You are sitting on a worn-out couch, eyes fixated on the flickering images before you. It's your very first encounter with the 1954 cinematic masterpiece, The Cane Newtony. The world around you fades into insignificance as the gripping tale unfolds, and the characters come to life, each etching their unique presence into your memory. Maybe it was Captain Quig's unraveling paranoia that left you on the edge of your seat, questioning the fine line between leadership and madness. Or perhaps it was Lieutenant Merrick's courageous mutiny that ignited a fire of moral contemplation within you. The moral dilemmas, the tension, the brilliant performances, it was a cinematic experience that left an indelible mark on your soul. Now, as we journey back in time, let's unveil some random facts about this cinematic gem. These nuggets of trivia will not only transport you back to the era of black and white cinema but also deepen your appreciation for the intricate layers of storytelling that make the Kane Mutiny an enduring classic. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare to set sail through the riveting world of the Kane Mutiny. Love the Kane Mutiny. The Kane Mutiny, a 1954 film directed by Edward Dimitrick, is a gripping tale of naval drama, loyalty, and leadership set during World War II. Adapted from Herman Wauk's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel, the story revolves around the US Kane, a battered minesweeper, and its crew. The film's central character, Lieutenant Tom Kiefer, played by Fred McMurray, is a writer and intellectual who questions the sanity of their paranoid and tyrannical captain, Quig, portrayed brilliantly by Humphrey Bogart. The crew's loyalty is tested when they face a series of crises, culminating in a mutiny trial that pits loyalty to command against the moral obligation to save the ship. The film's unique style lies in its exploration of the psychological complexities of its characters, particularly the enigmatic Captain Quig, whose breakdown on the witness stand is a defining moment. The tension between authority and rebellion is expertly portrayed, making it a character-driven narrative that delves into the intricacies of leadership and the consequences of questioning it. The Kane Mutiny left an indelible mark on popular culture, particularly in its portrayal of leadership challenges and moral dilemmas. Humphrey Bogart's portrayal of Captain Quig remains iconic, earning him an Academy Award nomination. The film's exploration of the human psyche under pressure and the ethics of mutiny continues to resonate, making it a timeless classic. In summary, The Kane Mutiny is a thought-provoking cinematic masterpiece born from Herman Wauk's novel, with iconic characters and a psychological depth that continues to captivate audiences, cementing its legacy in the annals of film history. In 1954, The Kane Mutiny stormed into theaters, bringing with it a gripping tale of naval mutiny and the complex dynamics of command. While the film itself is a classic, what many might not know is that its inspiration was rooted in a real-life tragedy at sea. The fate of the US Hull, one of three US Navy destroyers lost during Typhoon Cobra in December 1944, served as the basis for the mutiny in the story. Boatswain's mate First Class John Ray Schultz, an eyewitness to the disaster, played a central role in the unfolding drama. Schultz, recognizing the perilous situation as the ship entered the worst of the typhoon, confronted Hull's commanding officer, Lieutenant CMDR. James A. Marks, Schultz implored Hull's executive officer, Lieutenant Grail Jersley, a skilled ship handler, to assume command. However, Jersley refused, fearing a court-martial for mutiny. Witnesses on the bridge described Marks as paralyzed and indecisive, issuing questionable orders and declining to take on leveling ballast, a decision that Jersley strongly opposed. A powerful gust exceeding 100 knots eventually rolled the US hull over onto her side, leading to rapid flooding and the loss of 202 crew members. Remarkably, 62 others, including Captain Marks, were rescued. Surprisingly, a subsequent board of inquiry did not find fault with Marks, and none of the bridge incidents were brought up. Instead, it pointed fingers at Admiral Halsey for sending his fleet directly into the massive storm, although no disciplinary action was recommended. The survivors of the US Hull, however, laid the blame for the ship's loss squarely on Captain Marks. Tragically, Marks, haunted by the events of that fateful day, took his own life in 1986. The Kane Mutiny brought this gripping story to the silver screen, raising questions about command, responsibility, and mutiny. The film's success was also noteworthy for its collaboration with the US Navy, which initially had reservations about a movie depicting a madman in control of a ship and using the term mutiny. Eventually, the Navy provided extensive support, offering access to ships, planes, and key naval locations, adding an authentic touch to the production. Intriguingly, the film showcased is a peculiar detail, the white cream that the officers apply to their faces during combat scenes. This cream, known as anti-flash cream, was designed to protect their skin from burns caused by the fiery explosions of the ship's guns, revealing a small but critical aspect of naval life during wartime. The Kane Mutiny remains a cinematic classic, drawing on the harrowing real-life events of the US Hull and the complexities of naval command. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the power of storytelling, both on and off the screen. In 1954, the silver screen witnessed the gripping drama of the Kane Mutiny, a film that brought together a stellar cast and some behind-the-scenes intrigue. While the movie's plot revolved around a mutiny aboard a U.S. Navy minesweeper, what happened off-screen was just as compelling. 
One fascinating aspect was the casting choice of Van Johnson. Known for his roles in light comedies, Johnson eagerly accepted the chance to appear in the Kane Mutiny. It was a departure from his usual genre, and he saw it as an opportunity to break free from the comedic mold that had become his niche. The film's action-packed typhoon scene added another layer of excitement. Initially, the filmmakers contemplated steering the ship, a replica of the US, Kane, into a real gale to capture the intensity of the bad weather footage. However, the daring plan was eventually shelved in favor of creating the Tempest within the controlled environment of a studio. Special effects technician Lawrence W. Butler took charge, using his expertise to craft a typhoon that would have audiences gripping their seats. Behind-the-scenes negotiations also played a pivotal role. Columbia Pictures was determined to secure Humphrey Bogart for the lead role of Captain Quig. Bogart, equally eager to take on the part, faced a dilemma. Columbia was reluctant to meet his salary demands. This prompted Bogart to vent his frustration to his wife, Lauren Bacall, saying, This never happens to Gary Cooper or Cary Grant or Clark Gable, but always to me. Bogart suspected that the studio was aware of his passion for the role and believed Head ultimately agreed to a lower salary rather than let someone else step into Quig's shoes. His intuition proved correct, as he did concede to a lower pay scale to clinch the coveted role. Intrigues, cast choices, and creative decisions wove together to make the Kane Mutiny a cinematic gem in 1954. The film's ability to blend the allure of Hollywood with the tension of naval mutiny has secured its place in cinematic history. Cinematic history. Cinematic history. Lost Treasure, the elusive Kane Mutiny soundtrack in the annals of cinematic history history, 1,954 seconds the Kane Mutiny stands as a classic, a gripping portrayal of naval drama and human psychology. Yet, hidden beneath its fame lies a treasure that has sent collectors of motion picture soundtracks on an eternal quest, the original release soundtrack on RCA Records, IDL OC1013. This soundtrack, with its enigmatic journey, is considered the holy grail of soundtracks, fetching thousands of dollars due to its extreme rarity. The soundtrack, like the film itself, was no ordinary release. On the aside, it contained the stirring music from the movie, but it was the B-side that held the true allure. Here, listeners found a transcription of the complete court-martial scene, a rare gem in itself. However, the cover of this LP omitted credits for several individuals connected with the film. When this oversight came to light, RCA Records took swift action, recalling the records. At that point, fewer than 100 LPs had been issued, mostly as promotional copies sent to reviewers and select radio stations. Most of them were dutifully returned to the studio, but not all. Today, the Kane Mutiny soundtrack, LOC1013, remains one of the most sought-after items among film soundtrack collectors. Its rarity and the mystique surrounding those few copies that escaped recall have elevated it to legendary status. The story of this soundtrack adds a unique layer to the enduring legacy of the Kane Mutiny, a film that continues to resonate with audiences for its portrayal of moral dilemma and the complexities of command. As collectors continue to scour the world for that elusive record, the Kane Mutiny soundtrack remains a testament to the enduring allure of film memorabilia. In the world of movie collectibles, where obscurities often hold the most value, the Kane Mutiny soundtrack remains a shining example of cinematic treasure hidden in plain sight, a sonic artifact of an era long past. The Kane Mutiny, a 1954 cinematic gem, holds a unique place in Hollywood history. While it may not have surpassed the holiday classic White Christmas in box office earnings, it left an indelible mark on the industry. Opening on January 20, 1954, at the Plymouth Theater, the Kane Mutiny Court Martial was a stage adaptation of Herman Wauk's acclaimed novel. This gripping courtroom drama ran for a remarkable 415 performances, captivating audiences with its exploration of moral dilemmas and the consequences of mutiny. The production boasted an all-star cast, featuring the talents of Henry Fonda and Lloyd Nolan, whose performances added depth and authenticity to the proceedings. But it wasn't just on Broadway that the Kane Mutiny made waves. The film adaptation, released the same year, garnered significant attention when Time magazine chose to feature Humphrey Bogart as Captain Quig on its cover. Bogart's portrayal of the mentally unraveling naval officer became iconic, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The cover story solidified the film's place in the cultural zeitgeist and brought a wave of publicity that further cemented its status as a cinematic classic. While it may not have been the top-grossing film of 1954, The Kane Mutiny remains a timeless example of thought-provoking storytelling, leaving audiences to ponder the complexities of duty, honor, and the human psyche in times of crisis. In the annals of Hollywood history, The Kane Mutiny stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring impact of great performances. Great perf as we bid adieu to this cinematic voyage through the turbulent waters of The Kane Mutiny, I invite you to embark on a personal odyssey. This film, a timeless classic, delves into themes of authority, duty, and the complex shades of human character. It serves as a cinematic compass, guiding us through the intricate moral dilemmas faced by the crew of the Us Kane during World War II. Now, pause for a moment. Think about your own journey with this film. Perhaps it was the first time you witnessed Captain Quig's unraveling. 
or maybe it was the camaraderie among the crew that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Maybe, just maybe, the courtroom drama left you pondering the depths of human loyalty and betrayal. The K-Mutiny has a unique ability to stir emotions and provoke contemplation. It beckons you to ponder your own values, your choices, and your understanding of leadership. How do you relate to the characters? Whose decisions do you find yourself defending or condemning? What moral compass would you follow when the chips are down? Share with us your reflections, your cherished memories, or your profound realizations inspired by this cinematic masterpiece. Let the discussion flow like the sea, unrestricted and bound only by the depths of your own introspection. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with us. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. May the Kane Mutiny continue to provoke thought and inspire conversation for generations to come. Reflect, share, and let the legacy of this remarkable film live on in your words. 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 Words.